okay, what this is is a web core tape recorder from about 1952. It's a reel-to-reel. -reel. You can see the case. You can see the speaker on the front. The handle's broken off, but it's the AC bias, which Cassette Master will be glad to hear. It says Web Core High Fidelity. Here are the knobs. Press for fast, left, right. It says rewind. I, I wrote on it. Rewind, playback, re record, and fast forward. This knob says off, volume, treble, and bass. It says for best results use Web Core tape. These are where the reels would go. And that's the volume indicator right there. That's like the gauge, only it's a tube. And it's called an ele it's called a cat's eye or just an eye. There's a tape counter. As you can see. Sorry it does not work. There's a blown tube in it. And I could run the motor, but I heard you should never run the motor when something has a blown tube in it. Because it can result in problems. You can see the latches on it. And you can see there are speakers on the side, too. It's not in stereo. It had one speaker. It would just come through, through, each, through each side. You can see here are the screws for cleaning the head. There's a speed selector says Royal Coronet. This is a microphone. It bears a striking resemblance to the for, to the microphone for the predecessor of the Web Cor Royal Coronet, the Webster Chicago Model 80 wire recorder, which I also have in my collection. Webster Chicago is the official name of Web Cor. Then it changed sometime in the early 50s to WebCore, like 1950 or 1951. So I'll lift it up, so I'll lift it up so you can see the tubes in it. It has a number on the bottom, it appears to be 1, 126.56. That can't be the year because it was made in 1952. To replace rec record indicator tube, remove top plate. Now uh, it's in relatively good condition. It's really late forties, early fifties design. You could store extra reels here and here, and these brackets are for the microphone. That's to wrap the microphone cord around. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it.